Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. It's your girl T. So I know a lot of y'all would hit me up at midnight. I was still editing, but once I got done, I ran, honey, to go ahead and check my Apple Music and get my damn J. Cole album, okay? I mean, y'all was hitting me up like, T, you gotta do a review. You gotta talk about J. Cole. We know you love J. Cole. Y'all know I'm always up here promoting J. Cole and his music, and I am not disappointed. His new album, K.O.D., is definitely dope as hell. He has several meanings for K.O.D. He posted this, and I also love his new front and back cover art and he also stated that this is not an ode to drug culture this is some album art that he was working on but this is not to promote drug culture as we all know j cole is one of those artists you know what i'm saying he's very low-key he's not real flashy he's not you know super big on social media let's not forget back in 2014 he dropped forest hill drive and that album just dropped out the blue with little fanfare and went double platinum with no damn features, okay? And he did the same thing with his 2016 For Your Eyes Only that also had no features. But now the internet is definitely buzzing because on this album, he has two features by somebody named Kill Edward, okay? So here's where the conspiracy comes in, y'all. Grab y'all's damn teacups and tin hats, okay? So I listened to both songs featuring Kill Edwards. The one song is called Friends and the other one is called The Cutoff, okay? So both of these songs are featuring Kill Edward. And when I listen to it, I'm like, hmm, Kill Edward sounds a lot like damn J. Cole, okay? Maybe it's just me, but I'm getting J. Cole tees, okay? So anyways, a lot of us ran to go Google who is Kill Edward, you know what I'm saying? I ain't never heard of him. He ain't trending. He's not no mumble rapper. Who is this dude? And the only thing that the fans were able to find on SoundCloud was one SoundCloud account by Kill Edwards. The only thing people found was a single song that was uploaded a week ago called Tidal Wave. And basically that song is by Kill Edward. And when you listen to that song, it sounds like the same guy on J. Cole's album. And in my personal opinion, it sounds like J. Cole rapping with like his voice just, you know, at a higher pitch. So I feel like J. Cole and Kill Edwards are one and the same, okay? You feel me? Anyways, go ahead and listen to this snippet and let me know if you guys are getting J. Cole tees from Kill Edwards. Check this out. All right, J. Cole, you're not fooling nobody, damn it, okay? We know you're damn Kill Edwards, okay? So anyhow, with that being said, I definitely love the album. There's also a song on there called Kevin's Heart, and I know a lot of females are feeling some type of way, and I know I had a few girls ask me how I feel about the song, and honestly, it's about him basically cheating on his wife and, you know, you know, having extra marital affairs like, you know, little ass Kevin Hart and his McRib, you know, that whole situation that we covered a while back. Again, I don't feel any type of way about the song. I'm a J. Cole fan. He's telling his truth. And, you know, does it suck that he's cheating on his wife? Yes, it sucks. But like I always tell y'all, most guys aren't faithful. So I don't know why y'all keep asking me the same damn question, okay? Are there faithful guys out here? Yes, but 99.9999% of them are not including J. Cole, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not surprised that he would have a song like this. But again, nine times out of 10, his wife ain't going nowhere just like Aniko didn't go nowhere because some of these chicks know a comfortable roof over their head when they see one and they're not going to let that person go. So, you know, J. Cole can be out here doing whatever, just like Kevin can be out here doing whatever, just like Snoop and whoever else can be out here doing whatever and Takashi 6 9 you know, when you're dating someone in the industry, you know that cheating is just part of that shit. Is it okay? No, but it is what it is. But if she's not out here complaining and crying tattooed tears, I damn sure ain't gonna lose sleep over the shit. But you know what I'm saying? I thought the song was interesting, but yeah, you know, it's sad. But am I shocked that he's out here cheating? Uh, no, okay? But now, on to my favorite song, okay? My favorite song, and I posted this on Instagram yesterday, my favorite song on the entire track is 1985, okay? And I think this is a song that's causing all of this torment all on Twitter. I'm seeing a lot of damn J. Cole slander. I talked about this early on Twitter. A lot of folks were going off on him and I noticed it was a lot of the younger generation. You know, the, the ones who eat Tide Pods and shit. It was a lot of them. They were mad. They're saying J. Cole's album is boring. He's boring and how dare he even come at Little Pump and, you know, Little Yachty and Uzi Vert and Takashi 6 9 and all these new, what we call new age rappers, mumble rappers and stuff like that. You know, he went hard on the track and he basically talked to Little Pump and all these boys like he was their damn dad okay
Now, I will say this, you know, I see a lot of people slandering J. Cole and, of course, the whole, you know, J. Cole versus Kendrick, who's better. Of course, that meme is going viral and folks, you know, underneath that meme arguing and going back and forth. And again, like I always say, why do I have to choose? Why can't I like J. Cole and Kendrick? You know what I'm saying? I like them both just as equally. Now, as far as him addressing these mumble rappers, this is not the first time, okay? Let me bring y'all back to 2016 when he made the song Everybody Dies. And in that song, he was going in on, you know, mumble rappers and stuff like that. And a lot of people said that those were shots towards Lil Yachty because Lil Yachty caught himself kind of, you know, coming for J. Cole during an the interview. These rappers, bunch of words and ain't saying shit. I hate these rappers, especially the immature eight week rappers, Lil whatever, just another short bus rapper, fake drug dealers, turnt tour bus trappers, Napoleon complex, you this tall rappers. You know, at the end of the day, I love people who can give people food for thoughts, okay? There's room for all types of music. You guys know that. I cover Takashi 6 9 I cover Little Pump. I cover all of these new rappers, just like I cover the Kendrick Lamars, the J. Coles, and stuff like that. I feel like there's room for everybody. You know, like I said before, I'm one of those older people that can be like, you know what, I'll give any type of music a chance, and there's certain things I like, and there's certain things I don't like, certain things I can rock with, certain things I can't rock with. But I think at the end of the day, we need a voice like J. Cole. We need that balance. We need lyricism. Like I said on Instagram, Instagram. Lyrics matter, okay? In my personal opinion and me being older, I feel like lyrics do matter. And, and, you know, I appreciate when I can listen to his album and I understand everything he's saying and it resonates with me. Like, that's the hip hop I grew up on. When I listen to a Takashi 6 9 song, it's like, you know, I'm trying to understand what the hell he's saying and, you know, trying to listen closely, you know, and, and I find myself just more or less bouncing to the beat. There's really no lyrics, you know what I'm saying? Or if their lyrics are really simple, like when Little Pump raps, you know, on the song Gucci Gang. It's like Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang, my bitch let her do cocaine. And it's just like, that's not deep to me. Those are not deep lyrics, you know what I'm saying? So I appreciate why I can, you know, listen to a little pump and, you know, I can appreciate Gucci Gang for what the fuck it is. I also appreciate artists like Kendrick Lamar and J. Cole. And y'all would not get me to turn my back on J. Cole. I don't care if y'all think he's boring. I don't care if you guys think he's old. I don't care if you guys think he's preaching to the damn choir and he's a so-called hater. You know, I saw all types of foolish comments. I'm here for it, okay? And I'm always have J. Cole's back. So now, as of 20 minutes ago, J. Cole just dropped his new video. It's called ATM. And a lot of folks on social media are mixed. A lot of folks are saying that they're getting, you know, Busta Rhyme teased from it. A lot of people are saying that J. Cole's trying to be like Busta Rhymes. And currently, Busta Rhymes is trending. And this time, he's not trending for wearing that bootleg-ass Supreme sweatshirt. But he's trending because of J. Cole, okay? So anyhow, I watched the video and I loved it. Count it up. Count it up. Count it up. Hey, I love the song. I love the video. And I like it because it's different from his regular videos. Usually his videos are more, you know, they're kind of plain. He's like walking around the neighborhood and you know what I'm saying? Like this, I like the artistic feel of it. Count it up, count it up, count it, count it up, count it up, count it up, count it, count it up, count it up, count it up, count it. You know, I just like the theme of it. I like the graphics. I like the work that they put into it. You can tell he definitely used a lot more of a budget. So I think he definitely wanted to come at a different angle with this ATM video. But yes, I do get the Busta Rhyme tease that everybody else is getting from the video as well. But I think it's a good thing, you know what I'm saying? And if it got people talking about Buster Rhymes, who's an amazing lyricist himself, if it has the young folks going back and checking out his music, then I say more power to J. Cole for bringing that Buster Rhyme feel to the situation because now a lot of this new generation who may not know who Buster Rhymes is or who may not have been checking for him, now that he's trending for something other than wearing that damn bootleg Supreme sweatshirt, now they're going back to check out his old music videos and his old music. So, you know, maybe that's why J. Cole did that. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think about J. Cole's new album, K.O.D. Are you feeling it? Are you not feeling it? And then how do you guys feel about the different tracks on there? Do you feel like him and Kill Edward are one and the same? Because I feel like they are. And then also, how do you feel about this new song, 1985? A lot of fans are mad. They're thinking that he's going at Little Pump and now the new school rappers. Do you feel like he's going at anybody specifically? Or do you feel like he's just addressing this whole new genre, this whole new phenomenon? And then how do you feel about the overall album? So let's go ahead and get the discussion. Popping, go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Yeah.
Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.